Hey guys, Catherine here. Um, coming back at you on February 6th with another Valentine's Day charm. And today I would like to make a charm for my uncle. Um, I've noticed that he really enjoys bird watching and photography. Um, among other things, he has a lot of, uh, a lot of hobbies. But, um... For him today, I would like to make a bird, particularly a cardinal. Um, so I've got red clay set aside, and I'm going to make a cartoonish cardinal today. It's not going to be cardinal shaped. It's going to be rounded and chubby. And probably I'm just going to do like the head and put some feet on the bottom. Uh, I want it to be cute but still really express what a cardinal looks like. So I've got some red clay, I've got a tiny bit of yellow for a beak, and um, I've got this rolled out into a ball. And go. I want it to be pretty round, I think. And the more I mess with it, the less round it's going to be, and I know that, but still messing with it anyway. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is the crest, because I want there to be a crest that goes straight down the, or well, that goes straight across the top of the cardinal. So I'm going to take the other bit of red clay that I have set aside and pinch off just a tiny little bit of it and roll that into a sprinkle, a sprinkle shape, and um, then flatten that out. Go pinch one end, and then pinch the other end, and that gives me a feather. Um, so I'm going to lay that feather right across uh, what I've decided is the top, and smooth it down with my toothpick um, right at the base so that it'll stay on very well. And then out toward the end, I'm going to add some feather marks. And I'm only doing it right at the end because I'm going to cover it up with another one. So I'm going to make another feather. And there we go. And actually, I might give this uh, a little bottom so that it'll stand and not roll around. There we go. And then I'm going to take a, another piece and roll it into a sprinkle and do pretty much the same thing. Roll it into a sprinkle, flatten it out, uh, pinch one end and then the other end. And then I'm going to add the feather marks before I stick it on this time because I've learned my lesson and it'll be much easier to add them before I've attached it to the bird. There we go. There we are, and peel it off my finger and place it just directly over the top of the first one. Um, there we are, and then smooth it out just by rolling my toothpick along it there. There we go. And now we've got two feathers. And now do the exact same thing again. Take another bit of clay, roll it into a sprinkle. Sprinkle. Squish it flat. Pinch either end so that it is feather shaped. And this one is actually a little bit smaller than the previous ones, which is all right, because we want them to gradually get smaller. The crest is larger at the back than it is at the front. And add our feather marks to it. I don't know if I've given you a close-up of those feather marks yet, but this is what they look like, if you can see it. I can't tell the way I've got my camera hat right now, um, but then place it over the top of the other two and a little bit further forward. Go and 
same thing as before just smooth it down right at the tip so that it'll stay stuck on well and then last one and this one I want to be smaller than the other one so I think I am going to take off a little bit more make a smaller sprinkle smaller sprinkle and squish it flat pinch the ends into points go oh right add my feather marks before I stick it on go one two three and then set it on right at the front and same thing as before smooth it down This one I want to get really smooth because it's going to be the one at the very, very front. And I'm not doing any more feathers after this. So I'll take a little bit of extra time to smooth it down because I'm not covering it up with another feather in front of it. No. Sorry, I realized I had my hand creating a sh shadow over the clay there. And that's pretty darn smooth. So then I've got a sort of mohawk of feathers on the cardinal's head and I set it down and it sets flat and even which is awesome um, then what I'm going to do is take my dotting tool and make some eye sockets on either side there we go nice big ones one on one side one on the other side, taking care to make sure that I get them an even height from the bottom of the piece and also a even width side to side from the center mark. Um, then, before I, I do anything else, now that I've got those in place, I'm going to take my little bit of yellow and actually this might be too much yellow Go and just shape it into and this may still be too much yellow go now i don't have enough <laughs> well you just keep fiddling with it until you get the right amount and roll it into a ball and then shape it into a beak shape which is to do a beak shake I'm just doing a sort of um, just holding these fingers this way these fingers this way and pressing so that I create a back here the bottom is flat but the top has a ridge that goes down the center Go, and then with my toothpick I'm just going to put some tiny little nostrils and then draw a line in front of them to mark out the sear. Ah, the sear is the part of the bird that, uh, it's basically a fleshy bit that sits on top of the beak, um, but it's usually a similar color to the beak, so um, you don't usually notice it. But there we go, marked out the sear, and then Take and stick it right front and center. And then roll my toothpick along just to make sure that it's got a good hold on the head. Go a nice strong connection all the way around, especially at the bottom. go and now it has a beak and then we are ready for the eyes and I'm going to take a tiny bit of black and actually divide that actually maybe not maybe I'll just take off a little bit of that black just to make it a little bit less roll it into a ball and press it into 
no definitely want there to be less of that does not fit um probably could have divided that original piece in half oh well we go roll it into an itty bitty ball and drop it into the socket the socket's there to make sure that it stays round and stays in place and then smooth it down with my toothpick and then round it back up with my toothpick because I do want it to be a little bit raised I think just a little bit though and then the other side tiny itty bitty little bit black maybe a little bit more that was probably a bad idea but I've done it now and then drop it into the eye socket on this side and smooth it in the same way and then mound it back up the same way there we go and I think that is almost done actually this eye needs to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to take some of this black off there we go and then just smooth that back down and over like it never even happened and add it to this side because why not just trying to get them even and I I know that there are ways that I could have made those even but I didn't plan it in advance because planning things in advance is for other people no that's not too true planning things in, in advance is for everybody um, but there we go and then what do you think should he have feet should he have tiny feet I've got enough I've got enough yellow here he can have tiny feet um, they aren't going to be complicated. I'm just going to take my yellow and oh, actually we'll bend this feather up just a little bit. Give it a tuck forward because he's a rebel. There we go. So we'll just take this and divide it in half-ish and then roll those two halves into basically sleds his feet are going to be basically sleds there we go and then set them on either side of the flattened part on the bottom there we are and then you have a tiny adorable little cardinal now he still does need an eye pin because he is going to be a charm but he stands up he has feathers, he has eyes, he has a beak. That is everything a, a growing bird needs. <laughs> now comes the really hard part, the choice of where to put the eye pin. I could put it in the top, but I'm not sure I want to. I could put it like right behind that first feather. Um, I'm just worried that those feathers might break if I do. No, I, I believe in them, but that eye pin is a little long if I'm going to do that. Um, so I will take and trim it down just a little bit. There we are. And then set the eye pin in. I want it to go this way and then I want it to tuck up right behind that feather. There we go. All right. And there we have it. One cardinal charm. I pin and everything. Now I'm just going to bake it to um, the instructions for this polymer clay and that will be that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you are liking these charms for Valentine's Day, definitely let me know. Um, and if you guys make ones of your own, I would love to see them. Uh, thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing what you think.